For Lakeview Senior Cheerleaders, beginning with Mariana Franco, escorted this evening by parents Lisa Hartman, Vince Franco. Mariana is planning on doing post high school studying in nurse practitioner. Next up is Mariah McClellan, escorted this evening by parents Lisa and Jason McClellan. Mariah plans on attending Duquesne University and studying occupational therapy. Let's have a nice round of applause this evening for our senior Lakeview Bulldog cheerleaders. Next up are our senior football players, beginning with number 33, kicker Brendan Kilpatrick. Brendan is escorted this evening by parents Pam and Kyle P Kilpatrick. Next, please welcome number 17, Stephen Pavlansky, escorted this evening by, C by parents, Kate and Tom Pavlansky. <laughs> Next up, number 52, outside linebacker, defensive lineman, Kyle Roberts, escorted this evening by Denise and Tim Roberts. Kyle plans on following up with a with studies in criminal justice. Next up, number 13, a wide receiver and linebacker Brandon Sims, escorted this evening by parents Angeli and Dan Johns. Brandon plans on following up with studies in engineering. And finally tonight, number seven wide receiver defensive back Ethan Smith. Ethan is escorted tonight by his parents, Tanya and Chad Smith. Ethan plans on attending Kent State University studying sports medicine. Let's have a nice round of applause this evening for our senior football player. Congratulations to all our seniors this year. We know this has been a tough year. We congratulate you on making it three to four years of high school and wish you nothing but the best of luck in your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Nathan Sensibai and Tyler Usoski with major choreography factory post and percussion instruction by Tyler Usoski and led under the field by drum majors Noah Mooney and Jessica Riley, we proudly present the musical pride of Cortland, Ohio, the Lakeview High School Marching Band! Our Bulldog Band is here to 
get you pumped up for our football team. So to get you in a football spirit, here's the NFL on Fox team, followed by your very own fight song. Eight song. Hang on, Sloopy.
The Lakeview Band would now like to honor our senior band members as they come onto the Don Richards Stadium field for their senior night recognition. Mr. Sensabaum, Mr. Husowski, and Mrs. Prope want to thank you for all your hard work for the one to four years that you run the band. Thank you. Steve Anastasiadis is escorted this evening by Steve and Deborah Anastasiadis. Steve served as a squad leader for four years and a section leader for four years. After graduation, Steve plans to attend college as an engineer. Mackenzie Bender is escorted this evening by mom, Stacy Baker, and dad, Scott Baker. Mackenzie served as a squad leader for one year and held the band officer position at band librarian for one year. After graduation, Mackenzie plans to attend Youngstown State University to earn a pre-med degree, then attend Northeast Ohio Medical University to become a surgeon. Elena Blair is escorted to buy this evening by Denise Blair. Elena Blair served as a squad leader for two years and a section leader for one year. After graduation, Elena plans to major in business administration with a minor in photography. <laughs> Nicholas Clements is escorted this evening by Bridget Hospidor and Andrew Hospidor. Nick Clements and Dina Clem Clements. Nicholas served as a squad leader for two years. After graduation, Nicholas plans to join the Navy and pursue, pursue a dream in the medical field. Natalie Clucky is escorted this evening by Brad and Agnes Clucky. Natalie served as a squad leader for two years and a section leader for one year. After graduation, Natalie plans to, get, to pursue a degree in child and family services at Ohio University. Ian Garcia is escorted this evening by Sherry and Christopher Wiseman. Ian served as a squad leader for two years and a section leader for two years. Ian's plans are undecided at this time. Stephen Gorman is escorted this evening by Joe and Jody Gorman. Stephen Gorman served as a squad leader for one year and a section leader for three. After graduation, Stephen plans to go to Eastern Gateway Community College to major in fire science and get certified as a paramedic. Hunter Greathouse is escorted this evening by Nicole Zandarski and Nathan Greathouse. Hunter served as a squad leader for two years. After graduation, Hunter plans work on computer skills in the IT field. A.J. Harper is escorted this evening by Mark and Heidi Harper. A.J. Harper served as a squad leader for one year and held the band officer position of quartermaster for one year. And TCTC representative, representative this year. After graduation, A.J. plans to attend Penn State University to major in education. Sarah Lynn Joyner is escorted this evening by Tabitha Walker, Jeffrey Walker, Adam Joyner, and Veronica Cloud. Sarah Lynn served as a squad leader for one year and a section leader for one year. After graduation, Sarah Lynn plans to major in music at the Cleveland Institute of Music. Caitlin Kachurik is escorted this evening by John and Amy Pitcher. Caitlin served as a squad leader for two years and held the band officer position of quartermaster for one and band president for one year as well. After graduation, Caitlin plans to attend the Ohio State University for Sociology. Emily Perchins is escorted this evening by Mary and Glenn Perchins. Emily served as a squad leader for one year. After graduation, Emily plans to attend PTC for film education. Ashley Kalanich is escorted this evening by Carrie Kalanich, her mother, and Mark McCracken, her stepfather. 
Monica Lennox, your dad, and Robin Lennox, your stepmother. Ashley served as a squad leader for one year, and after graduation, Ash Ashley plans to pursue animation. <laughs> Christian Lewis is escorted this evening by Sue Lewis and Lee Lewis. After graduation, Christian Lewis plans to join the United States Air Force and CDL. Jacob Lezike is escorted this evening by his mother, Tracy Lezike. After graduation, Jacob plans to obtain a teaching degree in history or join the United States Navy. Allie Mark is escorted this evening by Sean and Amy Mark. Allie served as a squad leader for two years and held, held the band officer position uh, as a junior representative. After graduation, Allie plans to attend Kent State University to major in fashion design. Elijah Mabu is escorted this evening by Tammy Mabu. Elijah served as a squad leader for one year, and after graduation, Elijah plans to seek employment in the construction field. Mitchell Manners Matheson is escorted this evening by Cindy Matheson and Mitch Manners Jr. Mitchell served as a squad leader for one year and a section leader for one year, and held the band officer position of vice president and librarian for one year each as well. After graduation, Mitchell Meadows Matheson plans in majoring in accounting at Youngstown State University. Yeah. Yeah. Noah Mooney is escorted this evening by David Mooney, Kelly Mooney, and Nicole Mooney. Noah held the band officer position at drum major for three years. After graduation, Noah Mooney plans to attend Youngstown State University for music education. Megan Moore is escorted this evening by her mother, Lori Moore, and brother, Mike Middleman. Megan had served as a squad leader for one year and held the band officer position of TCTC TC representative. After graduation, Megan plans to attend the Culinary Institute of America to major in food business management. <laughs> Madeline Moss is escorted this evening by John and Michelle Moss. Madeline served as a squad leader for one year and a section leader for two, and held the band officer position of band council secretary for senior year. After graduation, Madeline Moss plans to major in music. Connor Pulaski is escorted this evening by Chris Pulaski and Chuck Pulaski. Connor served as a squad leader for one year, and after graduation, Connor plans to attend a trade school. Welcome everybody to Don Richards Memorial Stadium here in Portland, Ohio. Avery Post is escorted this evening by Shane and Carrie Post. Avery was a majorette for all four years in the marching band. After graduation, Avery plans to attend college to study criminology. Mr. Brian Durr, welcome Brian. Welcome to the team, so excited to have you. Lori Ring is escorted this evening by Cindy Finney, Terrence Finney, Tim Ring, and Julie Ring. Roy served as a squad leader for one year, and after graduation, Roy plans to join the United States Coast Guard. Abby Seaman is escorted this evening by Lisa and Meek Infant and Jim Infant. Abby served as a squad leader for one year and a section leader for one year. After graduation, Abby Seaman plans on working. Asia Stewart is escorted this evening by mother Rebecca Stewart and father Jason Harrington. Asia Stewart served as a squad leader for one year and after graduation, Asia plans are undecided at this time. Seth Totten is escorted this evening by Trevor and Brittany Totten and Angela and Lance Atkins. Seth served as a squad leader for one year and held the band officer position of historian. After graduation, Seth plans to attend the Ohio State University to major in computer sciences. Trent Watt is escorted this evening by Kendra Stabler. Trent held the band officer position of quartermaster his junior and senior years. 
After graduation, Trent plans to join the U.S. Navy as a nuclear engineer. Emma Wolfer is escorted this evening by Melania and Brian Wolfer. Emma served as a squad leader for one year, and after graduation, Emma Wolfer plans to attend an undecided college at this time. And those are our senior members of the band, 29 of them. Let's hit a nice round of applause, please. So, so Mr. Garrett, tell us, what do you think uh, are going to be the keys to the game
good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lincoln High School on a wet and rainy August evening. It's Friday night under the lights, and the season opener of the 2020 season is the Lakeview Bulldogs, my host to the Gerard Indians. The Lakeview High School and Gerard High School are members of the Ohio State Athletic Association and abide by high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes in this game are friendly rivals, and while play may be fierce, all in attendance are reminded that this is a game between yet.